right? It's our job ethically to reflect society, to reflect reality and what's going on, to write stories about things that are happening, right? If it's an animation or a TV or a movie or something like that, it doesn't matter. We have to think of this very, very carefully. And there are many, many problems with representation in media around the world, right? So for example, um, as they say in the textbook, there's a problem with actors and there's a problem with characters, right? Especially in, in the United States and in Western countries, right? Minorities are often either absent or presented as heavily stereotyped two-dimensional characters in, in, in different TV shows and movies, right? If you have a, 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 if you have a big budget Hollywood action, a big budget Hollywood movie, and the hero is maybe a white guy, and the other, another hero is the bad guy is also maybe a white guy. Uh, and then the, the, the good guy has a girlfriend who's also maybe white. And then you have a scientist. The scientist will probably be Asian or South Asian or something like that. Because uh, Hollywood has a stereotype that scientists are Asian. Right? If, if you have a bad guy, traditionally maybe the bad guy was black or was Middle Eastern or something like that because that's the stereotype that we had, the good guy is white, the bad guy is something else. So for a very, very long time in Hollywood, movies were really bad for this, right? Or the woman, the woman didn't have power, the women were there just to fall in love with a man, and they didn't have any control, they didn't have any agency, and it really made women look powerless. And then women in society would watch movies, and they would see all the movies, with women, what are the women doing? They're housewives, or they're, they're very emotional, or their only job is to fall in love with men, right? That really affects what, what women think about themselves, right? And Hollywood has been kind of changing how this works recently. Um, I'll give some examples of that. But it has a, a big effect. Right? There's a lot of stereotyping uh, in, in movies of women or, or LGBTQ people or people with disabilities or things like that. Uh, and a lot of media has tried to change how they, how they do that. Um, there's also the problem with who are the people who produce the media, right? Um, in a 2000 survey in the United States, journalists, editors, and reporters were mostly white. Only 11.6% were racial and ethnic minorities. Right? In Hollywood, only 17% of behind-the-scenes creative talent were women. Uh, and many TV shows, many Hollywood companies, they've realized this, that there's not enough women or minorities. And more and more of them have taken effort to have more women on the, on the writing staff. Or to have a woman be the hero of the movie instead of a man. And they have the, if, the, if the movie is about a woman, then maybe a woman should direct the movie and a woman should write the movie. Because a woman can probably write for a woman better because she's a woman. If you have a movie about a black man, well, maybe it should be written by a black woman. Um, for journalism, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, uh, who are the journalists? Oh, look, look at all these female journalists, yes? Do you notice any similarity between them? I thought, I thought my hair was blonde, but they are, they are very, very, very blonde. People noticed over the years Fox News was only hire a very beautiful blonde-haired woman. And then very bland-looking white men, yeah. Uh, and then a woman would quit, and then they replace her, and they have the audition, and she... The woman, no, if she wanted to get the job on Fox News, she has to have long, uh, blonde hair. And it, and it continues to this day. Um, now, I'm going to give an example of diversity, and I'm going to use something that maybe you guys know more about than, than other examples I could give from a, from a long time ago. For example, Marvel movies. Have you seen any Marvel movies? Yeah, Iron Man, Hulk, everything. Uh, let's take a look at, at what their choices have been. So you know there's a couple different phases in, in Marvel movies. There's phase one, which started out 12 something years ago with Iron Man, right? And then now we're in phase four with a, with a bunch of different movies. 
<clears throat> so what were the first movies? Who were the stars of the first movies? Captain America, Iron Man, um, you know, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Winter Soldier, Vision, Vision, all of these characters were basically straight white men. Right? It was Iron Man, and then Hulk, and then Captain America, and then another Iron Man, and then uh, another Captain America. And then, you know, they just kept repeating these movies where the main character was a straight white man. Right? Eventually, uh, I'll guess that the Hulk is not, he's green. So he's a green straight male. And then you had these other characters like Black Widow and Captain Marvel. Um, Black Widow, originally, she's a supporting character. She was a secondary character. She was helping Iron Man. She was helping Captain America. Right? It's only this year she got her own movie after she's done, right? Spoiler alert. Um, Captain Marvel was the first movie that the main character was a woman. And that happened after 10 years of movies. Right? Wanda, she finally had like her own TV show after being a secondary character in all these movies for a long time. Right? The Wasp, she, you know, she's the secondary character in the Ant-Man movies. Right? And then finally the movie came out, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and everybody's like, oh my god, there's a woman's name is in the title of the movie. Amazing. But eventually you start to have movies like Black Panther where it's a, a movie directed by a black man, starring a black man about African culture and things like that. Right? But otherwise, you had these black men who are in supporting roles. Right? War Machine is supporting Iron Man. Falcon is supporting Captain America. Right? So you have Captain America, a white man, supported by Black Widow and, and Falcon. Phase four, they've changed this quite a lot. Many people criticize Marvel for doing this, for having the movies, the cast, the characters of the movies be too like this, being not diverse enough. So you had, we had the new Captain America, uh, Falcon and, and the Winter Soldier TV show. At the end of it, Falcon became the new Captain America and he's a black man. Um, you had the TV show Loki where we, we found out that Loki was bisexual. We had the movie Shang, Shang, Shang Chi, Shang Chi, the first one where the main character was a, a, a nation. Now we will have a, a TV show, Miss Marvel, where the main character is South Asian. Uh, we'll have a movie in the future, Valkyrie, about a, a black gay female. Um, the movie that just came out is Eternals. Um, and it has a wide variety of characters who are all different ethnicities and some have disabilities and some are a variety of different sexualities and things like that. Um, in the future, you'll have Blade about a black male vampire, right? So Marvel kind of figured out that they should take more effort to reflect the diversity of the world uh, in, in their movies, right? It took a bit of time, but Realistically speaking, if the first, if Iron Man, if the first Iron Man movie was about a black man, it might not have done so well. If Captain America was a woman, the movie might not have done so well because audiences don't expect that, right? But after 10 years of the phase one to three movies, the audiences have learned to appreciate the, the diversity of, of the cast. Right? And this is also reflected in many ways in the people who make the Marvel movies. So out of 34 films, TV shows, whatever, four of them were, only four of them were directed by women. Uh, Captain Marvel, the first movie with a, with a female lead character, was co-directed by a woman. So there was a man and a woman who, who co-directed it. Um, Black Widow was directed by a woman. Uh, the Eternals was directed by a woman. Um, there'll be another movie in the future, The Marvels, directed by a woman. Great. Um, and six out of the 34 films were directed by not white people. Right? Black Panther is directed by an African American. Thor movies are directed by Taika Waititi, who's a mix of uh, Maori. Um, Shang-Chi, the director, is half Asian, half white. Okay. Um, Eternals is directed by a Chinese woman, right? So you have a bit more diversity in the, in the directors and the writers of these movies. 